next guest says he gets four times as thirsty as the average man from Naga Nagatuck, Connecticut. Welcome, Four Beer Billy, right here. Is that what's your hometown? Naugatuck. Naugatuck, yes. okay. Now you have four glasses here of what, what would normally be beer. In this case, it's whatever. It's Jenny Microbrew. <laughs> You're going to drink them at the same time? Is that the deal? Yeah. You know, actually, this, the, the beauty of a trick like this is anybody could do it. How much money have you made in bars doing this trick? That's what I want to know. Not a dime. I want to do beer commercials. Okay. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Four drinks at once. for doing a, a totally useless trick for us. I love this. This is one of my favorite shows to do. And by the way, we have a lot more things coming up. We have some audience members backstage being hypnotized that we pulled out of this audience. We're going to see... Bill, you, you have been collecting, I understand, audio cassette tapes of music to send over to the troops. How did this whole thing get started? Well, one night when I was listening to the newscast, it showed the guys sitting around listening to the 90s version of Tokyo Rose, that Baghdad Betty. And uh, the idea just popped in my head, you know? They were saying they didn't have American music, so why not send it to them? And uh, being a former GI myself, I, I know how important it is to have a little music from home, so I tried to get a little publicity started, and so far I've collected uh, almost 300, and it's, uh, hopefully it'll grow. And what kind of music has been coming in? What are people donating? Uh, Basically everything, anything from Frank Sinatra right on up to uh, heavy metal, Led Zeppelin, Hank Williams. Uh, the only thing that I cannot send over there uh, is any type of religious music, unfortunately. I received this information through Senator Dodd's office. Well, you were in the service, so you know you can tell us about how it feels. Is it kind of like a connection to home and all of a sudden you hear a song that you can kind of think back to things you were doing when you heard the song back in the States? Oh, yeah, that, that's yeah. for sure. A lot, a lot of times, you, you know, you'll hear a song when you're on a certain part of the highway, and a month later, you'll be on that part of the highway, and you'll, hey, I, I, I sang this song here, you know, yeah. or something will happen during your life. Uh, you know, it plays an important role in everybody's life, I think. Well, everyone's got tapes around, a lot of extra tapes. Maybe, uh, how can they participate in this? Well, the, the best way is to mail them to me. Uh, I've warned the post office downtown here what could happen. <laughs> and uh, if uh, I can give that address out, I'd like to. All right, go ahead. Okay, that would be Tapes for Troops, care of Bill Frank, 66-1, Lantern Park Drive, and that's Naugatuck, Connecticut, 06770. All right, now, if we're looking at our screen right now, this is an alternative address to uh, the VFW, because I know you've gotten a lot of people to send them through VFWs, and that's 239 Rubber Avenue, also in Naugatuck, Connecticut, 06770. And when are you planning on sending these things over? Well, what I would like to do is send them out. Uh, I'll give the mail a few weeks to clear. Uh, hopefully, it'll be within the second week of October. I had uh, boxes donated to me from nap containers, and... Uh, other schools and businesses have been calling me. They want to set up collection points in their factories and bring them all to me or have me go and pick them up. So uh, if it has to run a little longer, I will. Uh, the more the merrier. I got a whole <laughs> bunch of these yes. big boxes. <laughs> well, listen, all people trying to help our servicemen and women overseas, it's much appreciated. Thank you all, Maria D'Antone, Bo Thank Bob you. Dalziel, and Bill Frank. All great Thank ideas. You. We can all get involved. Joel Siegel with a double feature review. Frank has been collecting audio cassette tapes with recorded messages for soldiers on them. He's got 20,000 of them already. In the last couple of months, he says he has shipped two truckloads of tapes to the troops, and he's already received lots of thank you letters from them. He says now is the time to keep those cards, letters, and tapes coming. Yeah. That type thing. The mail should keep flowing, Pri primarily letters. Yeah, you know, right now they're, re they're real busy, and they're going to need to know that everybody's thinking about them and caring about them. And 
And Bill says if you're interested in sending a taped message to the soldiers, just contact the VFW Post 1846 in Naugatuck. That's VFW 1846, Naugatuck. There's nothing like word from home when you're in a situation that they're in, so that oh, is wonderful. And the, the future is still unknown for, for all of them. Everybody's just taking their support for our troops in the Persian Gulf by tying red, white, and blue ribbons on trees here at home and sending letters overseas. Well, now people are sending the soldiers more words of encouragement, this time in the form of songs. Action News reporter Melissa Sander met a Naugatuck man. The power of music can help a lot. Sometimes words alone don't say what you want said. Not well enough for Naugatuck's Bill Frank, who's sending tapes to U.S. soldiers in Saudi Arabia, filled with lots of music and a few well-chosen words here and there. Mr. Hussein, uh, he's insane. He wants to mess with you guys? <laughs> God have mercy on him. Bill invites others to bring tapes to his temporary recording studio, the VFW in Naugatuck. The response? <laughs> Hundreds of tapes turned over. Tapes people believe can go to better use played for our soldiers overseas than in our own homes. They look like they're, they're bored for one thing, and uh, I feel sorry for them. And I think they need something over there to take them, pep them up. People are recording morning radio shows, their records from home, buying tapes, uh, narrating themselves, whatever they want to do. And hopefully it'll... it'll remind the guys that, hey, we're here and we're behind you. You're not over there alone. Besides dubbing off special music, people wrote down some very special thoughts. Like the lady who wrote in this box, this tape is to let you know that our hearts, souls, and minds are with you. Pay special attention to the lyrics of the first song on both sides. Lee Greenwood's God Bless the USA. A little something extra for the troops. Bill tapes words of support. I have a fellow here who brought a whole slew of tapes in this morning. He's got a little something he'd like to say to y'all. Hi, oh, man. This is Sarge. Yeah, I had 33 years in the service myself, and I appreciate all you troops are doing over there and just keep your morale up and going. A message and music from a street. Your numbers paid off and... Glenn Pearson reports some Connecticut citizens will soon be exporting some potent reminders of home. Any of you out in that desert just might be from California, you might have made it to Bakersfield. By the first week in October, some familiar sounds will be on their way to the Persian Gulf from the VFW Hall in Naugatuck, complete with messages from well-wishers back home. Hi, everybody. I'd like to tell you that America is thinking about you. America loves you. We care. And a lot of the fellows were saying they can't stand this... Uh, uh, snake charmer music or the Sinbad music, whatever they called it, and uh, they said that they wish they had some Led Zeppelin, they wish they had uh, Hank Williams. So Bill Frank took on the task of recording that music for the troops overseas. He also set up a collection box in the VFW Hall where people can donate tapes to be shipped to the Gulf. It's true, music has a way of transporting you to a different time and place, and that should be great for the troops. But add to that,